Hello everyone, Chris here. Today I will show you how to break this game by finding power armor on the first day. To find it we will need two things, a gun, a jackhammer, an acetine torch and few grenades. You can find tools in night industry buildings and weapons on zombie soldiers. Now, all you need to do is to locate a Transcoast Logistics building, clear the parking lot from zombies and start mining in this place. Cut through with acetine torch and place plank over the hole. Go to the lowest floor. Deal with local security and cut through these two doors. Go again to the lowest floor. And now only one thing is holding us back. The boss of this place. If you have a 50 cal rifle, you can try to challenge it. But here's what we will do instead. If you see it, wait it to come near you and simply open this door. Go back up and try to go from the other side. If it didn't work, try to do the same from this side as well. Once the boss will be distracted, it will be safe to cut through the final door. Inside you will find a turret. Deal with it by throwing a grenade. On the left side you can find rare weapons, but the main place is on the right. There are two hidden doors in this room. This one can contain a mech suit, but our main prize is here, an endgame power armor, or if you are not lucky, armored zombie. If you find the zombie, you will need to try again with different Unscouse logistics and repeat the process. It took me two tries to find it. Once you succeed, load it up with diesel fuel and congrats, you can basically roleplay as walking tank. Here's a quick demonstration of what this armor is capable of. I found the heavy version, which is still useful but not ideal because of its weight. In next part I will show you how to fix that issue and break this game even more. Since my last video I got to 50 subs. Thanks a lot for subscribing, commenting or simply watching. I hope this video was helpful as well. Peace out.